Hey guys, what's up? It's Parvor. Welcome back. Bringing you another Overwatch video now. Today's video is just basically only going to be about AS ASP Farah, ASP Farah. All right. Uh, it's basically a snake-themed skin, which uh, I actually like it a lot. Um, I did right now. This what the video you're going to see is me basically just. I'm just going to outright buy it. Um, the Blizzard World patch came out yesterday and. I didn't get to play Blizzard World about like a good three, four games, but a uh, PlayStation Network apparently went down quite a lot yesterday, so I really didn't get to you know enjoy the game so much. So, um, what you're gonna see here as yeah, here was the notification for Blizzard World is now available, and of course with Blizzard World came the update to the loot boxes, with basically they said over a hundred new items, new skins, emotes. Highlight intros, sprays, you know, just the things basically. Um, and this video, I'm, I'm just going to outright buy Farah. I was kind of thinking they were going to give us a a free loot box, but it turned, you know, I was thinking, wait a minute, this is not a new event, it's just a new level. So, as you can see right here, already choosing Farah. I do have the Gladiator, Los Angeles Gladiator skin because. Not because I support the Los Angeles Gladiators, but because their color scheme actually matches my YouTube channel colors. So that's why I got it. I mentioned that in a video before. So, gonna be checking out ASP Farah. I'm actually kind of thinking about maybe changing her name to Cle Cleo Farah. You know, more like Cleopatra, because she kind of has that Cleopatra look now. Oh, well, let's scroll down. And it's actually surprising that there's a thousand coins. I was actually expecting um, these costumes, at least the legendaries, to be three thousand. But uh, I, I come to find out that the legendaries are three thousand only for events. But if it's permanent, legendaries are actually a thousand. Now, looking at the costume, my opinion on this, I like it a lot. The only thing that I do not like is uh the snake heads where her thighs are it, you know kind of make it looks a bit too bulky um i actually don't like how the shoulder pads look as well you know especially like on this part right now it, it's like the shoulder pad becomes her face from that point of view uh i i know it's a snake themed skin you know that's why there's the snake on her shoulders there's the cobra on her chest there's the cobra obviously on her crown and even her launcher has a cobra on it which i actually like it a lot um but if you do look closely at the costume it's snake themed but in my opinion i kind of think they went a little too much with the the snakes all over the place like you know i, I like the the idea of the crown i like the idea of the the cobra on the chest piece but i i kind of don't think they could have they should have done it on the shoulders and on the hips it's a bit too much and if you get even closer in the costume her the um where the rockets come out for her justice on her shoulders those hatches actually have snake eyes on them as well so kind of think they went a, a bit overboard with the snake thing you know here and there is fine but i don't really need to see it on every single piece of her body and there's even a, a snake piece on um her concussive blast see if you look on her shoulder thing uh, where the hatchets open for rockets, you do see the snake eyes, as you can see. Um, but I have to admit, I really do like that snake crown a lot. And I was actually hoping that because this costume is, you know, has a golden touch to it, I was hoping that her highlight intro, the Mesu Barrage, actually had golden rockets as well. But the golden rockets is apparently exclusive to the bedouin skin and i like the bedouin skin but i don't like the curly toe shoes now here's the gun you know up close and personal is basically a cobra pretty much with the cobra hood open on the top it at first you're gonna think it's a bit bulky but i'm, I'm already kind of used to it already so i like it a lot um and gonna check out her sprays as well apparently she only gets the the one uh asp spray i was you know i actually checked out for a few more but in case you guys are wondering where the new sprays are located you're gonna find them hidden within all the teams um you know for the overwatch league if you just scroll through there you find them and but that, that's where at least they're located on con console i don't know about pc and all that so 
um, other than that in this video you will see how the gun looks in first person I'm gonna do it in both versions both um, in its regular tone um, you know skin skin tone whatever and then I'm gonna since I have the gold gold version I'm also gonna show it to you guys in gold as well so I if I had to choose I kind of prefer the gold version because it does have some uh, light blue circles at the top and depending on the lighting you know as you're moving around the light blue circles actually kind of have like this dark darkish look almost like black so I, I kind of like how it changes like that uh other than that you know like i said i love the costume a lot this is more than likely gonna be at least for now my permanent costume i'll, I'll obviously still switch out to uh the gladiators pharah as well but for now i really like this one like i said the only thing i really don't like is the shoulder pads too much and i don't like like those snake heads on her hip on her hips um anyway right now i'm gonna Boot up, boot up, uh, you know, training mode so you can see how the gun looks in first person and all that. Out of the highlight intros, I actually like, um, the one that I pretty much keep by default, which is Mission Complete. And I do like the touchdown. Like, you know, I mentioned before, I'm not a big fan of the slam dunk one. I think that's a bit kiddie-ish to me. So, and I, I don't even really like the Rocket Queen dancing mode, because for me, uh, since Farrah tends to be like a... At least her personality is straight to the point and very serious. Having, you know, her play the guitar, at least to me, looks kiddish. So, anyway, I'm going to sit down here, take a look at the her pose and stuff. I, I really like this a lot. You know, it, the gold even matches with the light blue color scheme. I, at least to me, gold even obviously matches with black, you know, like the Soul Dy Dynasty theme. But this is, you know, it, this is pretty nice. I like it. Um... And you see this is how the gun looks first person. Now I'm going to switch back and change the gun to gold. So you guys can see it. And it's actually the... It's actually... Um, the gold is more brighter than the costume. You know, even, even though the costume itself is gold. The gold is not as shiny as the gun itself. So, And I was actually hoping the rockets right there would be gold. But like I said, that's only exclusive to Bedouin. But anyway that's pretty much about it um i'm obviously gonna do a walkthrough of blizzard world as farah you know trying to give you guys some farah tips as how how the map how farah could work on that map um i will mention right now don't expect any easter eggs like what what blizzard world part of this map pertains to what blizzard game i don't know you know, yeah, I've heard of the Blizzard games, Diablo, StarCraft, but I've never played them. You know, I've mentioned in the video before, the only other Blizzard game I've played was um, Heroes of the Storm, and that was just to unlock the Police Diva and Oni Genji. And like I've said before, I hated Heroes of the Storm. I didn't do not like those kind of games, but... Anyway, that's pretty much about it. As you can see, the gun actually has a, a more shinier gold than the costume itself, but it's fine. Anyway, as you can see, it's light blue, and when you see me turning, you will see how the blue changes color. So that's pretty much about it. And um, also, if you kind of notice, the rockets have gold tips on the back. I don't, I don't think the regular one had that. Anyway, as you see now, I'm in a dark spot, and now I, the blues have have that, you know lighter blue thing well I, you know what now that i think about it, i didn't even notice that blue gem in the very back of the gun that's cool yeah, anyway that's pretty much about it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe i appreciate all the support and i'll see you on the next one hope you enjoyed bye